Hey there everybody, Pop on Top here. Welcome back to some more Fallout 4 mods. In today's mod, we have a weapon mod here. This is a classic iconic one. Um, this is called the Escape from Boston M200 Intervention. So it's the Intervention Sniper Rifle, which is very famous from um, you know Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 in the days. You can see it has some really unique kind of looking animations here. These are um, ripped from Battlefield 4, um, which also featured this gun. Um, it does very much look like Battlefield sprinting, right, with the sniper rifle, aim down sight, animation, everything. The reload, the bolt action, which is also very nice, though. I'm not saying that Battlefield has bad animations. That is that is smooth and crisp. It sounds wonderful, right? That's a very good gun type of thing. Obviously, we just cut the default version here. We'll show off the reload animation, though. Does look nice. I mean, if you play Battlefield 4 and you ever use this gun, that's what it w works like. I crafted it here at the chemistry station. At the, for me, it's at the very bottom here. Um, it's called the Chaytac M200 Intervention, which is probably its actual weapon name. Um, by default, it's the 50 caliber ammunition with the 230 damage stat, which is pretty good. Um, good as any other sniper rifle in the game. Definitely like any of the base game sniper rifles. Uh, but let's take a look at the customization we can do with this weapon. So obviously we want to make it the maximum receiver. We need actually the sniper perk to max this weapon out too, which is pretty good. I'm also out of screws, so I'm going to quickly give myself a bunch of components and I'll see you guys in a second with more customization options. All right, everybody, I'm back with more screws. So we have suppressed versions of a short barrel and a long barrel here. Better hit fire accuracy, worse range of recoil. I mean, the range is still extremely high. 227 is a lot. Um, better hit fire accuracy, though, might be interesting. Um, I want to see what it sounds like suppressed, too, so we'll put that on there for now. We get a, we could actually change the magazine, and instead of changing the magazine size, it changes the ammunition type. So we can make this uh, explosive or incendiary. Incendiary does do the same damage, but it does probably do the damage over time thing. And these require the gun nut as well as science perks. Obviously, we want to put explosive rounds on there. Obviously, we do not want iron sights. Um, we got some... It says it can switch between one and four. I've never seen a scope that can actually... I mean, like, on the fly. Like, you could probably change it up at the weapons workbench, right? Um, but you probably actually just want, like, a snipery scope, right? There's a ten times scope. More ten times scope. Like, a six times is probably good, right in there, right? Eight times. Different kinds of scopes. that do They do increase accuracy the longer range it is, right? Thermal scope. Five times scope different variants of that no sts i don't know what sts is in this context but lots of different scopes we'll put a nice little leopold six time on there sure for now um oh and then you can mount a, a side mount a sight is that what that's doing and then you could put a bipod on there no benefits better stability and accuracy deployed um but i mean you can't actually use a bipod right and we could put a laser module on there that's okay Sure, slap a little laser sight on there. Folded sock, or extended sock. Extended sock is obviously going to be better. It does make the weapon look fucking huge, though. So you can change its pistol grip to different looks. But they don't seem to actually affect the weapon, so I'm just going to leave it on default for now. So it's got topographic black camo, blue tiger, digital forest, uh, FTE, which is like a real yellow-looking camo. Russian... I guess is red. I don't know why Russian has red camo. Maybe that's a real life thing. A white camo. So you can change it up here. I like the black topographic looking camo, but it does have some options here, right? So we have 500 damage per shot now. Exploding sniper rifle here. Um, so that's a six times scope. It's, oh, so, so the, that's what it's saying. So STS, I know that's the see-through scopes. So this is a see-through scope six times scope, which I do like the look of a lot. Because obviously you can see your surroundings a lot better. Still get that nice zoom, pop somebody in the head. But we can show off... Uh, obviously the rounds are exploding too that is very wonderful big fan of that um, but we could show off i guess what would the, so like the non through scope version would just be um i guess we'll put the bipod on there um to see if it does actually anything i don't think it's going to i won't mount a sight but i don't think that does anything either <laughs> like what if we put one of these what, what they call hybrid sights on here i don't know that seems weird like but it so this is it switches between one and three. I don't think that's actually switching anything, and we it, we like mounted a side scope right, but it's not actually there. This is still using see through scopes at least, which is wonderful, and that maybe is one. Oh, I think I said it's got some zoom to it. Maybe it's hard to tell with my high field of view, but it feels nice. This is this is a wonderful. I mean, it's the intervention, right? It's probably one of the most iconic video game sniper rifles ever. It still sounds crispy, silenced even, right? And that bolt, you know, sounds good. Like it's like it, like you can hear it pulling and stuff. I'm not a big fan of this particular sight. Um, 
Let's show off one of the default sites like I was talking about. Obviously, we have a laser site, and that's working. Is it, it took off my mounted sites. I put mounted sites? Is that... I want to see if that actually is a thing. So, like, we mounted a site on the top. Oh, because... And then we use that. And that, like, isn't working. It's, like, got, like, a big... I mean, maybe it is, but it's, like, real dark. I don't like that at all. Um, and, you, and there's no way to switch between them on the fly. Like, it doesn't... It doesn't make any sense. Um, so let's put the the non see through scopes like six times side on there because we already used the regular six times on there. Obviously, you can make it ten times and all kinds of crazy stuff. So this is going to be like your base game sniper scope, right? Of all kinds of variety. So it depends on your preference. I prefer see through scopes probably, um, but you know everybody has their preferences on the things. I know that see through scopes was recently um, broken and then they had to fix it. I really do like the running animation though. Obviously. It is just the Battlefield animations. It looks like the Battlefield animations. I feel like I'm playing Battlefield in Fallout right now. Um, but the sniper rifle is wonderful. It has all, all the customizations you want. You can you know maximize its damage. You can make it short or long barrel. Obviously, long barrel is going to have longer range. But like, I don't know if the hip fire accuracy is making too much difference. Um, let's put like let's see what the ten times scope looks like just to fuck around, fuck around and find out. Um, I leveled up off of that. I don't think the bipod is going to do anything though. It says it's done, doing stuff, but I don't think that's actually true. So that, that's really weird, because, like, there's, like, a top, like, ballistic calibration part of the 10x scope, and it disappears when you aim down sight, and that's, like, super duper distracting to me. So there's definitely some bugs. Like, there's some weird things with those, like, mounted, like, close-range sights or whatever. What about, like, a cog sight? Like, a three times a cog scope. What about that? What's that like? That looks decently nice. Like, it's, it's, it's kind of fuzzy for me, but I'm not playing it, like, probably high enough resolution to see the full grass of all the things it aimed down sight really quick though for especially for a sniper rifle it's, it's a good gun it feels like the intervention that's i mean that's like the biggest compliment i can give it because the intervention is just iconic right it is one of the most wonderful sniper rifles to ever exist i'm going to change some things up here on this but we're gonna go test it out in some combat once i get right back so i'll see you guys in just a little bit all right everybody i'm back we got some combat here i got some long range super mutant somewhere way up there i can't see him anymore but there's people around here did i see a super mutant there's like a shadow of one over there we put the six times default scope on here some of the scopes are actually not very good in my opinion um this is the one that i like as a preference there's a sneak attack critical for two times damage still didn't die must have been legendary it looks like they were glowing like they were legendary so we're gonna pick some people off obviously it doesn't have a huge amount of vats accuracy surprisingly um but we are still plenty effective here with our suppressor and our explosive rounds. They're vaguely shooting at me now. They kind of know that I'm here, so we're just going to quickly hide behind the tree a little bit. Maybe Nope, danger now. Okay, this gun does have, I mean, with the laser sight combination and the short barrel, actually really good hip fire accuracy. Look, I just hit that exploder with the hip fire shot two in a row. I don't know why that hound's glowing like that. Obviously, I am not the sneakiest of persons ever to exist. That was a bad shot. I need to reload! Does it actually get a bad shot on deck? Like, there you go. Nice explosive round right in the face. Blew his head right off. It's a good sniper rifle. It feels good. Like, it feels like you're playing more of a first person shooter focus game like I talked about. Like, because it is all the animations and stuff right here. Like, this running animation. All these other things are based off of Battlefield and stuff. The reload animation, the bolt animation, all that stuff. Feels more focused first person shootery. Um, it doesn't do as much damage as I thought it would do, but these super mutants are just tough as nails, huh? I mean, I actually crouched. I hit the wrong button. My bad. Hello, you think you see me? I mean, one shot is a legendary super mutant overload if we hit him in the face. We just gotta aim for them headshots, I guess, rather than just spamming it at body shots. Maybe that explosive rounds are causing some kind of weird stuff, too, though. I see you over there. No, 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 just come back out. Stop hiding. I know you're there. What is what is this mutant doing? Dying apparently. Hello? I can see you through the wall. Penetrator perk. Penetrated successfully. But yeah, it's the intervention. It's a wonderful sniper rifle. It does sniper rifle things. I'm not like the sniper rifle he is to people, right? Obviously, as you see that I don't didn't sneak or stealth at all. But I, I mean I can hit my shots. I don't think there's anybody else left here, to be fair. But the you know, the animations and stuff, I don't know why that glowing legendary glowing mutant hound is actually like green as fuck but you know that's a weird vibe how much does explosive damage do like a decent amount that, that hurt me pretty bad Ooh, there's something else over here like a glowing blowfly or something blowfly hold on or like 
to end you. Yeah. I mean, the explosive rounds are nice. Incendiary rounds are cool. It's got lots of customization. I'm not a big fan of most of the scopes, but it still feels like the Intervention, which is a wonderful sniper rifle, classic, iconic kind of thing. Where's my body? Hello. Treated leather chest piece, sure. I guess. But it is the Intervention, right? For all intents and purposes, it's the Intervention. Feels very good. Has good animations. Uh, not the best in terms of scopes, but it's got enough where I feel like you can find one that you would like, right? Especially if you see through scopes. If you don't, you could just use the default scopes and those work fine too. It's not going to be any worse than anything from the base game, right? So there's, you know, I, I would call it a lot of good stuff here, right? It's a good gun. It's, it's one of the, maybe the best sniper rifles I've ever covered just because it's so iconic in, in its design, right? The intervention is just wonderful. And the animations are good. Animations are big. I'm a big sucker for animations. So if you guys want to check out the Escape from Boston M200 Intervention for yourselves. Make sure to check out the top link in the description. There'll be linked there to the Bethesda on that page. You can download this mod for yourselves there. You can also check out the top, the other link in the description for the Nexus mod link and, you know, figure it all out from there. I'm not a big PC modder myself, so I don't really know what you're doing, but do, you, you do you. If you guys have enjoyed the video, like the video. If you didn't like the video, dislike the video. That's okay, too. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. That we can check out more videos from me. And pretty much other than that, you guys have a good rest of your day. Or whatever it may be. And I'll see you in the next episode.